Mission Sunrise live on E. It's the 7th of May, if you've just joined us, bright and early Tuesday morning. Now, this particular interview is around uh, the uh, Africa Youth Summit, which was organized by Zyron, a South African youth-led development agency focusing on socioeconomic development in distressed states. And the African Youth Charter Summit will take place on the 3rd to the 7th of July in Tanzania. The summit will be a meeting point for young leaders of Africa, representatives of government and civil society, in order to identify identify priorities of action for the youth. To talk more on the sum uh, summit, we joined by project manager Amugelani Maimele, Gertrude Kintongo, who is part of the International Committee, as well as Dr. Johnson Lulua, Se uh, Secretary General uh, at uh, the Coordinators Africa. And you at home, please engage with us. How do we rewrite the history of uh, Africa, especially for future generations? To all of you, thanks indeed for joining us. I'll start with you, um, Amu. Giving us the context, we understand that it is part of the Charter of the African Union, mm -hmm. but we also understand that it's somewhat uh, re uh, reneged in, in its principles. Mm -hmm. Give us the background of the Africa Youth Summit. Okay, the African Youth Charter is a charter drafted by the AU and was adopted in 2006. And it's an African agenda for young people. Mm -hmm. But the problem is young people don't know about it. It's not out there. Um, the AU is still busy with uh, getting it out of out there, getting it rectified, getting it um, young people involved in it. But if it's a charter for young people, we need to. It, it needs to be out there, and we need to know about it. Yeah, and mm -hmm. that's what you, you're also passionate about, just to create that awareness and say, do join forces. We know that we have a very young economy, dynamic, innovative young people mm -hmm. who can uh, foster this, this continent forward. So with reviving uh, uh, the, the, the charter, if you will, the summit is now taking place in Tanzania. Talk about the accessibility, just in terms of travel and trying to have as much representation across the continent. How is that going to work? Uh, so we're having um, students, well, young people from all over Africa, every African country, and they're traveling in by bus, by train, by road, by plane. Um, originally, we wanted them to travel on road because we wanted them to feel each each person's um, feel in every country. So we wanted you to walk in my steps in, in Kenya as you walked into Tanzania. Feel, when I say we have poverty in this country, we wanted you to feel that, experience that. Um, but because of logistics, um, border logistics, we are allowing some of them to travel by plane straight into Tanzania. Mm -hmm. So we're having young leaders who have um, gone through like Zimbabwe, gone to Malawi, gone to Tanzania, and they're going to say, when I was in Malawi, I saw when they told me about malaria, I experienced it, and now what can we as young people do about it? Yeah, and how do we effect the change? Yes. Uh, Dr. Loloa, maybe you can, as the co-contributors, Africa Secretary General, what is your role in reviving this uh, youth uh, uh, charter? Maybe by default, because uh, when I met Amukelani, uh, about uh, six months or ago, uh, we seem to have sparked together and I uh, found out that she was interested in African things, especially concerning youth. And I think that uh, my interest has been also in co-contribute Africa to enthuse the youth so that they can together hold the hands of those who are not so able to go together uh, with, with, the, with the Africans. And uh, my interest is much more with the youth because many times we lock youth in the age of 14, 15, and we think that's where they remain. We don't realize that their, uh, their, their passage is a passage through, that each 10 years, people will reinvent themselves. The youth reinvent, I, I'm a youth, I've reinvented myself. So uh, my interest is in that we should hand Africa basically to the youth. Because when I was youth, I had plans that, like they had, yeah. but there was no structure in which I could express it. But still, if I can reinvent myself and align with the type of visions they have, I think we'll go very far. Yeah, Amugela, and exactly that. There's talk about that they, we don't have role models or, you know, a succession plan. And uh, as former President Nelson Mandela advocates as well, to pass mm -hmm. on the baton and, and skill young people and part that knowledge and learn in a two-way uh, uh, stream. Do you find that there's lack of, especially uh, on the continent, uh, of that kind of exchange? I think there are there. There are role models. There are people. We were able to put together an international committee of 15 people, which consists of amazing young people from around Africa. 
uh, to organize the summit because we all, we all knew that we didn't have the capacity or the power to organize it on our own. And uh, we were able to find those people and there's still more, the applications, when we look at those people who want to come to the summit, they're very amazing and it's just that there's lack of support for such kind. Mm. 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 Bertrand, you're part of the international committee as I'm always saying, yeah. so what, uh, in terms of the criteria, the participation, how did you put in, you, and also drafting the agenda, because you have the one thing where it's an issue of legacy and really putting the building blocks, it's another thing to, to um, see any change being affected. It's something else to deal with immediate uh, social economic mm. issues as well. So how do you put together what, what is going to be discussed and your outcomes as well? Well, we look at the current African youth problems, which is unemployment. We look at um, issues around uh, infrastructural development. And then we founded our, ba our, our summit around solving those issues. So we're looking at fragile states um, up in the north. We're looking at countries that have been suffering through, through war. We're speaking about post-conflict resolutions. And we're looking at countries that are also historical, like for instance, Tanzania, when, when, when during the apartheid era was giving refugees to people from South Africa. So we're saying, Tanzania, look, we have a relationship with you already. How do we build on this? And Afri South Africa is quite developed if you compare South Africa and many other African countries. So how do we get all this development, all this good here into that African continent? We want to rebuild that unity. So that's what we're doing. When we speak about Ubuntu, when we speak about a pan-African society, the future of Africa is ours, and mm -hmm. we're starting to lead it now. We're not waiting for tomorrow. We want to say the decisions we're making, we start now for our children, for our girl children, for our boy children in future. Well, I've got my, my struggle armor on, and I'm following you guys. I'm voting you all in for president, so you can uh, uh, <laughs> I count on that. But we'll invite our callers as well at home on 011-537-9333 or 9345. Send your messages on Facebook and Twitter. We're talking about the African Youth Summit, which will take place in Tanzania from the uh, 3rd until the 7th of July. But let's get your messages on Facebook. Hello, Andrew. Thank you, Cindy. We asked on Facebook, what are the issues that we should be addressing at this Youth Summit? And uh, some of your comments, Vusumuzi said they should address the issue of free education, unemployment and lack of skills. And also a big problem on the African continent is child soldiers uh, in African wars. Trevor said they must learn how to be good leaders. Love said just their roles in the leadership they can play in their respective countries, we lack that. And Kosilati said, to work on the total unification of Africa and the economy. Arthur said, respect no matter what position you're in and job creation. Prince Leek said, youth entrepreneurship development is also vital. Ronnie said, they must discuss the issue of unemployment, deployment of illiterates and free education. And lastly, Giff said, we're tired of attending youth summits. We want to see some implementation. That's it from your Facebook comments. Back to you, Cindy, in the studio. Thanks so much. And that's largely our South African viewers. Uh, you know, if you draw on the National Youth Development Agency and that bitter taste that it's left. So, but I don't want to confuse the issue. This is different mm -hmm. from the National Youth uh, Development Agency. But you've drawn in strategic partners from mm -hmm. around the continent. Is it mainly north-south? Are you, are you covering, uh, how many countries are you covering? Every African country. Every African country has been invited, all the young people. Um, we have, we're going to be translating, so there'll be French and English, so everybody will be understanding um, every, everything we're discussing in the summit. So every single African country in fragile states, in uh, the diaspora, everywhere. That's wonderful. Let's take a call on Bali. Thanks so much for your patience. And uh, what's your question? Hi, I'm Bali. Hi. Um, I want to know, um, as a youth, how do we go about getting involved in such uh, summit? All right, thanks so much, Mbali. We did touch on the criteria, but mm -hmm. it might be first-hand information for some of our viewers. So, mm -hmm. how do you get involved? We, we, they can go to, go to our website and just Google the Africa Youth Chapter Summit, and they can go to our website and apply through the website. Mm -hmm. Or um, they could just get in touch with us uh, via email. Um, where we could leave our details, and they could get in yeah. touch with us. Yeah. On and Facebook as well. OK. Yeah. I see your details are on screen there. But uh, Dr. Lulua, this needs to be yes. a 365-day approach in terms yes, of yes. conscientizing people around the issues of Africa. We do mm. take into cognizance mm. as well mm. that, yes, infrastructure development, there's uh, uh, certain war drive areas, poverty, famine, etc. But it does not mean that there can't be a concerted effort 
mm. in, in addressing these kind of issues. Now, one would say I'm helpless, I'm only one person. Mm. I do not have the capacity to get involved. Uh, where, where would you start? I think that's generally the sense. Yeah, that it's getting. probably a general <laughs> question, yes. But the thing is, Africa has been struck by, by a lot of historical issues which we sometimes lock into the history books. But I think that if we bring them forward and see how those have impacted on us, and uh, then look at what the, the vision is, as, 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 as brought out by Zaira, uh, that everybody in Africa, or the whole youth in Africa, should come and see what solutions they can get to the problems of infrastructure, food security, uh, mm -hmm. transport, uh, education, health. It, it really says that there is some commonality running through the, mm -hmm. the whole of Africa. So that ideas changing and starting somewhere to say these are our problems, where do they stop? Are they limitless? And in Co Contributor Africa, we say we are facing a borderless Africa, where we mean, therefore, that if, if we look at the borders of Africa, we think politics. But if we look at the problems of Africa, we are borderless. And as Africa, we are in a borderless uh, situation. And I think that an issue like uh, bringing it to the fore and, and taking to the doors of people, to the living rooms of people, will get a start to the whole uh, debate. Yeah. And I think the energy that the youth has, has to be supported. We should hold the youth's hand mm. and say, together we shall go with you. Because tomorrow, this youth is going to be the ones holding our hands. Absolutely. All right, France is calling us from Centurion. Hi, France. You? Hi. Hello, how are you? Good, thank you. I'm fine, yeah. Uh, I just want to, to ask uh, the ladies there about the uh, youth summit. Uh, I, I just want to, to ask them if there's any difference between the, the, the views that are shared now by our, our government and the, the, the views uh, by the youth uh, concerning the future and the present of the youth of this, uh, of this African of now. now. All right, thanks. Thanks so much, France. I think what I'm understanding his question to be is that is there political will, political buy-in, especially if you take mm -hmm. the different legislation, sovereignty of states, mm -hmm. etc. Um, okay. um, there is. Uh, we we get in there. In the beginning, it wasn't there, um, and I guess everything when it when it's new, you don't really understand it. But two days ago, I met up with Kosazana um, Kamini Zuma, and. I shared with her the vision, and she was impressed by what we want to do. And there is Africa, <laughs> there is Vision Africa 2063 coming up. Mm -hmm. And they taking, AU is taking in submission of how do we want to see the future of Africa in 50 years' time. Yeah. And this is an opportunity for us to actually sit down and talk as young people and say, this is our submission to the AU of how we see Africa in 50 years' time. And we believe that they will take it in since that's what they're looking for. Yeah. And I mean, it's all very noble, and I, I can almost see the vision in 20 of, of, uh, twenty or so uh, years from now. But the reality, as we said now, is, is issues around Afro pessimism, mm -hmm. looking at uh, just exactly the borders that just uh, hinder mm -hmm. any interaction that make it difficult for us to understand each other as a continent. Mm -hmm. So we need to deal with the perceptions yes. first yes. that we are really no different yes. based on the colonialist mm -hmm. uh, uh, lies. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, is that a, a big issue that we need to first start with before we even aspire to become this winning uh, yes. champion nation? I think we need to start with a spirit of inclusion and we need to understand each, other's, each, each other, that's where we need to start and change the perception that just because I am from here I am better. You mm. know, I, I, feel, I feel what you feel and that's why we, for instance, like Amu and I are traveling by bus and we're going to go into these countries and we're going to do summits in every country. Every su when we get to um, Nigeria, when we get to Zimbabwe, we're going to experience how does it feel as a young person to be in Zimbabwe? What are you facing? So we want to, we want to when we get to the summit, we want to say, we are one. I have walked your footsteps. I, have, mm. I feel what you're saying. So we want to break those borders. So when I'm facing you, I'm speaking on your level. I'm not coming from a fancy house in Santon. I'm yeah. coming from exactly where you've been. And that's where we need to start. Change that perception that just because you speak better English or just because you've gone to a good school, you are better than me. Yeah. No, we are the same. That's what we want to push forward. No, and, and, and it's, a, a, again, very, very commendable. But just in, in wrapping up, um, your objectives, obviously, obviously you'd like to see recommendations, suggestions, and hopefully taking it forward so that it would impact a policy review mm. or prioritize the issues uh, that you will bring forward. 
Okay, there's been so many talks in Africa, but all those talks end up in a cloud. So what we're doing with this summit, what is different is that we s we we bring it together. We selecting a secretariat that we're going to put mm -hmm. out there, and we're going it's going to be funded by young people. Uh, we're going to be shareholders of this secretariat, and we're going to say these are solutions. Even if you just choose one thing that we can all go do in our different countries, that will change Africa, all of us together at once, mm -hmm. and then have this secretariat administering that. Mm -hmm. So this will be our leaders that will be accountable to us, young people, mm -hmm. that on a continental level, that we'll, we wish that they work together with the AU and other. Um, organizations mm -hmm. that wish to support us as young people carrying this forward. Okay, yeah. so if you have donations to make, be it monetarily or in kind, or you'd like to impart your skills and this particular summit, you're most welcome, but we'll give you the details. I wish we had more time, but I'm afraid uh, we're going to have to leave it there. Thanks indeed. Thank you. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank, Thank you. you. We're speaking to Amugelani Maimele, project manager of the African Youth Charter Summit. Gertrude Kintogo is uh, a, a part of the International Committee as well as Dr. Johnson Lulua, Secretary General at co-contributors Africa and for more information please visit aycs.awakeafrica and that's aycs.awakeafrica.org.za or you can go to zaira.org. We, we back after this.